Um, they give me 10 minutes. If you guys don't look entertained, I'll stop. When it comes to open mic comedy, they say it's similar to paying for a hooker by the hour. You don't have to use up all your time before you get off. Back in the corner over there. Is that, is that couch wet that you guys are sitting on? Wet from the rain? Okay, good. Is that one wet? No, okay. I was going to say, if, if you are going to sit on a wet couch, it may as well be made out of AstroTurf. Um, last night, I was walking around uh, the Arts District after I left uh, another open mic. I was at a bar. Did the, uh, yeah, slight technical difficulty. I could hear the, the, the outside monitors are back. There we go. Okay, so uh, last night I left a bar in the Arts District. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar. I see you got a CES pass, so if you're from out of town. I was walking back here from, from the Arts District, and, and uh, the streets were empty. Uh, the only other people I saw walking around were people pushing shopping carts. So I felt a little nervous. Uh, and when I passed through an intersection and got near the cross signals, it'd be like, wait. And I'd be like, oh, shit. Because I was nervous. It startled me. Um, so uh, uh, they got a daytime entertainment around here, downtown. It seems like the... The number one attraction is watching a building get demolished over here. You just walk by, everyone's like... I actually thought maybe I could uh, hustle up some money just walking by people and being like, uh, you guys know if you watch more than five minutes, it's $3. If you want, I'll do 10 minutes for five. Thank you guys. You guys are a wonderful audience so far. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, I'd like to try an impression for you guys. Uh, a, a Jewish comedian performing for a black comedy club. Hey, uh, ladies. Uh, if, you, uh, if you like guys with slightly smaller than average size dicks, let me hear you say, hey. My fellas, where my fellas at? If, yeah, if you like going into the grocery store and you see apples on sale for 97 cents a pound, let me get a... Uh, yeah, as Jewish comedian at a black comedy club. Thank you. Um, I saw a... Uh, I, li I like the outskirts of... Las Vegas Strip. You see interesting stuff. I saw a guy, he was riding a dirt bike um, and it had no rubber tires on it. It was just the metal rims of the wheels grinding against the pavement and he had one hand on the handlebar and in the other hand he was holding a black 30 gallon trash bag with God only knows what in it. And I was thinking, wow, Vegas is cool. You can't even see something like that in New York or Los Angeles where someone can express their inner junkie so beautifully. The man was a true artist. Uh, also, I think it's cool that when Las Vegas has conventions, all different types of people descend upon the city uh, depending on what the convention is. So like... With CES here, you get a lot of people wearing business suits around town. I was out here last month, and um, there was a rodeo championship, and there were cowboys all over the place. And I know the AVN awards are coming up next month. So it will look like the population doubled here. Just more perverts and hookers 
all over the place. All right. Any uh, football fans here? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. We got the Super Bowl coming up. But I will say, uh, I don't really like the halftime show. I just want to watch football. I don't need the interruption in the middle. Like, would you want to go to a Justin Timberlake concert? And he'd be like, all right, guys, it's intermission. Uh, I'm going to ask Rose 1 through 50 to clear out while we have the St. Uh, the Saints and the Vikings are going to play for about 20 minutes, and then I'll get then I'll finish the concert. Uh, while we're on sports, do we have any UFC fans here? All right, this jokes for you then. Yeah, uh, I like watching the UFC, but I'm a little disappointed with how much they've sold out to corporate sponsorship. I was watching one of the main events, and the announcer was like, ladies and gentlemen, standing to my left, he's the heavyweight champion of the world, weighing in at 205 pounds. He's won 16 of his last 18 fights by way of knockout. They call him the hammer, and if he calls Geico today, he can save up to 15% on his car insurance. I, was, uh, I like playing blackjack here because you get to meet a lot of Vegas locals who deal the cards. And uh, I know it's no, um, doesn't make up for really the social injustices that we've had with civil rights in this country, but the minority dealers seem to enjoy when they take away money from the Caucasian players. <laughs> um, this, this black lady was dealing to me and she took like $200 from me in about 20 minutes and just looked at me with this real stone look like, you like that, motherfucker? <laughs> and then there's this guy standing behind me, big guy. He's like, man, you got to go with your gut. That's, I thought that's the strategy for the buffet. All right, now it's time for a corny buffet joke. I was eating at the buffet. I've earned a corny joke, right? Yeah. I was eating at the buffet, but I had to stop because I kept getting that whore's pubes stuck in between my teeth. <laughs> if you tell a few okay jokes, my rule is a few okay jokes get earn a tacky joke. I'm waiting for that one minute sign, but I'm gonna keep going until then. Um, so when I call my health insurance company, they ask for my member ID, and because I can't enunciate that well, uh, I'll give them like a name to go with the letter, so I say, oh, my ID is 234, D like David, M like Mary, T like Thomas. Last time I called the customer service woman, she said, hi, this is Shanika, could I have your member ID number? So I thought... Maybe I should try two, three, four, D like Deshaun, M like Monique, T like Tyrone. Yeah, jeez. Um, I've got to be running close to about ten minutes here, right? I think so. But. Okay, I just got it now. There's the light. So uh, I'll end with this. Um, you know, comedy's an art form, they say. And art imitates life. And, you know, life doesn't always have a happy ending. Uh, us comics, we, we kind of want to go out. You know what? I butchered the last joke, but... Thank you guys. You guys have been a great audience. Let's give it back to our host and the production team who's been so wonderful. Are you coming up or to call up the next person? I'll be here till you get here. <laughs>